Hey and welcome to the MX-5 guide on Summit Point Raceway in iRacing. This track is the monster of the rookie series because it has only 3 braking zones, which means that you only need to learn 3 braking points and you are good to go. You don't need to practice alone, you can race against my ghost car, I've uploaded all lap files to the community discord which is linked in the description down below, I'm also streaming on Twitch and am available for coachings, you can find both links in the description as well. We are on the main straight and based on my experience there will be always a lot of action around here. People will swing from side to side, try to break the draft, try to attack, try to defend, it will be chaotic. All you need to remember is to stick to the inside when you're in a fight, no matter if you're attacking or defending, because the inside line is way superior over the outside line. An attack on the outside in turn 1 works only when attacking driver is also way superior in skills compared to the defending driver on the inside, but when both drivers are equally skilled then it's almost impossible to make the pass happen. So just stick to the inside, mind your own business and focus on the braking zone. Drive on the left edge of the track, keep the wheel straight and hit the brakes hard once you reach the free cones. I'm arriving in 4th gear because I'm alone and I don't have any draft. When you are driving in a pack, you will be able to shift into 5th gear and arrive here with a bit more speed. Keep the higher speed in mind and break a few meters earlier, otherwise you won't make the next turn. On first sight it looks like a simple hard braking zone into a hairpin, but there's an important detail which will set experienced drivers apart from the rookies. Whenever you go hard on the brakes, the load of the car will shift to the front and push on the front wheels. You will have more grip there, which is great when you want to turn in, but it's bad when you want to accelerate because your rear wheels will be light. So whenever you go flat out after a hard braking zone, your rear wheels will start to slide and you will have a really bad exit. That's why you want to slowly transition from the brakes onto the throttle and that's what you can see on the screen right now. Slowly decrease the pressure as you get closer to the apex and right when you are at the apex you want to get back on the throttle again and slowly accelerate. When you do it right, you will notice how the load of the car slowly shifts from the front to the back and you will notice that you have a way smoother exit which allows you to carry more speed out of the turn because it shoots you out like a stone out of a slingshot. Avoid the curb, it will unsettle your car and disrupt your acceleration. We want to carry as much speed as possible through the next high speed left hander. That's why you want to stick to the right edge of the track as you prepare for the next braking point. Gently tap the brakes when you reach the end of the pathway on the right and aim for a smooth and wide line through the next turn. We are in a high speed section and that's why you want to be aggressive on the throttle and try to engage it as early as possible, ideally before you reach the curb and attack it. We want to maintain a high speed until the next braking zone and that's why you want to stick to the left edge of the track here to get a wide entry into the next turn. Lift briefly on the entry to exit the next turn on the right edge of the track. That way you get a cleaner path for braking and it also opens up a wider entry into the next hairpin. Straighten the wheel right when you exit the turn, hit the brakes hard and aim for the inside curb of the next hairpin. Aim for a tight line, get back on the throttle to lead the car around the turn and when it's possible then you want to attack the inside curb with one or two wheels because it helps you to shift the car around and gives you some additional rotation to work with. Stay in first gear, push the car to the left edge of the track and hit the brakes when you've made it about halfway to the next turn. Aim for a clean and tight line and try to be aggressive on the throttle. We will stay on the throttle from this turn up until we reach the braking zone into the last turn. Which means that when you mess this turn up, you will lose time all the way through the next two sectors. So stay calm, aim for a clean line, don't try to be too aggressive on the brakes and simply aim for a clean exit. We 
we want to stay on the throttle and that's why we attack the curb and aim for a late apex which allows us to exit the turn on the middle right of the track. You want to drive in the center of the track, roll the car around and aim for a late apex again. A late apex simply means that you want to clip the inside curb when you are about to exit the turn and not when you are about to enter the turn. I'll pause here to show you more clearly what I mean. As you can see it here, we are close to the curb at the exit of the turn, which means that our car is already aligned to the left edge of the track. This allows us to stay on the throttle because we are already aiming for right entry into the next turn. The opposite would be an early apex, but then the physics would push us out to the outside and we would end up around the right edge of the track here instead of the left, which would mean that we need to push the car to the left again and we would probably also need to brake for the next turn, which we don't want. So take the late apex instead, stick to the left and stay on the throttle. Approach the last turn on the left edge of the track, tap the brakes when you reach the pit entry and shift down into third gear. You want to aim for a smooth and wide line and try to be as aggressive on the throttle as possible to carry as much of your speed as possible towards the finish line. I'm always attacking the curb here which leads me through the turn and that makes it almost impossible to go wide on the exit. That was the guide lap, the cockpit lap is coming up next. Don't forget to check out the description, leave a like when you enjoyed the video, I wish you all the best for the next week and see you next time.